Hi everybody. Happy Friday. Today is, what is today? December 8th and I have three new projects for you. If you're watching the recording, thanks for watching. Um, I do Facebook Friday almost every single Friday um, at 2 o'clock central, except when my kids' schedules get in the way. Sometimes I have to rearrange things. Um, but I have been focusing on Christmas as we approach the holiday fast and furious. And so today is no different. I am um, going to do three more treat holders. You guys requested three treat holders again. And um, this time I'm using the tags and trimmings bundle. This bundle is... Um, retiring it's not coming back which i'm really really surprised about um but it is it is not sold out as last i checked um hopefully it doesn't sell out before you guys get it because it's really um really a great one for those uh, who like to make treat holders um hello hi everybody good to see you thanks for joining me before i get started while we wait for more people to join i'm going to talk a little bit about um, a class that I have offered right now, a class to go. Um, this class, you might have seen it. It is, I've buddied up with my friend Rhonda Wade and we're both offering um, a class. You can get one or the other or both and they ship together um, for the same price if you get both of them. Uh, the shipping is the same. But my class is a mini album class and it's kind of hard to explain so I thought I would just kind of show you. You actually are gonna make two of the same album in this class. They feature the Memories and More Perfect Days um, cards. If you have never seen these, there are a bunch of just little uh, cards that are designed for memory keeping but I never use them that way I use them all different ways and I guess a mini album is memory keeping but it's not the standard um what they I guess design them for in particular but um so I thought I would show you the car the box comes with all these cards and there's two of each card so I thought okay well that's perfect because then you can make two of the same book one to keep and one to give away and uh, because when you make a mini album, you usually love it so much you don't want to give it away. Um, now, my friend and my downline, Robin, she makes these beautiful books. Um, she loves to make books. And she brought one that was a baby album to my retreat, and I fell in love with it. And so I had to make a, my own mini album in that same style. So thank you, Robin, for the inspiration. So in the, this class, it's called Perfect Days Mini Album Class, you're going to get two sets. You're going to make two two albums but you'll get one set of cards because that'll do that'll do both albums and you'll get a whole pack of paper but I thought I would show you um, I went ahead and did one with my daughter's pictures and she about lost her mind she was so excited and I just like randomly printed some things off her Instagram really I was just trying to do it for to show you guys what it looks like and she like almost cried and if you have a teenager you know that it that's like whoa like she was really excited about it um but anyway uh so she's very excited to get it she wanted it right away and i said she couldn't have it until i was done with my class so anyway she's going to keep this one and then she's going to give this one to her best friend um and it's exactly the same because the box has two of everything so that helps to make the album and um the album i've had people ask me where do you get the album well you're gonna make it i mean i'm gonna show you how to make this this is made out of our paper um and uh a little bit of chipboard and all of that is in the class so if you're interested in doing this um the information is going to be at the bottom of my project sheets today it's also on my blog um now this is not going to be something you can get in time for christmas um my uh, shipping date goal is uh, the 21st of December um, so you're not going to have time to do it before Christmas but Rhonda and I always like to do a class that is for you to do after Christmas you know that that week or two after Christmas where it's just ugh, you know everything's over and you just want to be by yourself in your craft room well that's what these classes are for this is to give you an opportunity to get away and do some crafting so um, that's what these are they would make great gifts too um, so you could hold them for a birthday or something okay so that's that class and Rhonda's class is a different memories and more card kit that includes um, that makes 10 different cards so um, that the details on that are all on my blog 
Okay, so let's get back to today and let's first, let's do our door prize from last time and I think I saw her on here. Laurie, are you on here? Laurie Chilton, you are the winner of the Watercolor Christmas kit and stamp set and I will get it in the mail today um, so that hopefully you'll get it early next week if you happen to want to make these for Christmas. So congratulations, Laurie, I'm excited. I have your email, I mean your mailing address already so don't worry about um, having to send that to me. Now, this week, I promised I had lots of prizes, and I really do have lots of prizes. Um, I have been using some Hostess Rewards to kind of collect some extra stamp sets and things so that I could give them away as we get closer to Christmas. So I'm going to give away three things this week. Um, the Christmas in the Making adorable set, the Hug in a Mug stamp set, and then look, does this look familiar? This is from last week. Um, this is what we used last week, the ornamental Christmas framelits and the iconic Christmas. Um, so I'm going to do three different people, not one person, but three different people. So when you go over to my blog to enter for the prizes, there's, there'll be a little section that says, which prize do you want? And if you already have, like, say you want, you already have this one, then tell me these two. Um, but if you want any of them, if you take any of them, then say any. Um, I just don't want to send something to somebody that they already have. Um, I want it to be, um, you know, like in, in addition to what you already have. So make sure you make note of that. Um, let me know which, if you're, if I draw your name, which one you would prefer or which two or which, or if you'll take all three of them. So let me know that, um, is over on my blog. It's a raffle copter and it'll go, um, until next Thursday. I think it cuts off so that I can let you know next Friday. Okay, so let's get busy. Um, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to everybody who's here. I see we've got quite a number um, now. And I saw somebody ask about that mini album. Is it in a PDF form? Yes, it is. Um, my friend Rhonda and I are trying to combine our PDFs, and she is actually on a trip right now with her husband. So she as soon as she gets back, I'm going to have those available to you. And yes, it'll be PDF only option. Um, together, they'll both be $20, I think is what we said. So two class PDFs together. So watch for that. I'll let you guys know. Um, anyway, okay, so back to this. So this week, three projects using the tags and trimmings. Um, this is so cute. This is one of the things that, that really jumped out at me in the holiday catalog when I first saw it. Uh-oh. Um, it is designed to make you know, these 3D projects. And really, um, what you do with the stocking, the way that Stampin' Up, you know, I guess designed it, is that this is the front and then the little pillow box die goes on the back. So because that's the obvious way to use it, I'm not gonna use it that way this week. I want to show you a couple of other ways to, to use this. Let me get that die, because we're gonna need it. Um, the other thing that I was going to tell you, oh, is that it's not just for Christmas. If you'll look, none of them says, says specifically Christmas. Now, Holly, yes, snowflakes, yes. But you can make a pillow box any time of the year. And I'm going to show you a sample of one that, that can be, um, you know, any time of the year. So, and these are so cute, the stockings. I mean, I'm sure you've seen them all over Pinterest. There's a ton of different ideas. Okay, so these project sheets have all the measurements and the item numbers and everything that you need, plus the my two upcoming events in case you're interested in those. Um, oh, a baby sock too, Mindy. Yes, it'll make a baby sock cute. And I mean, a, a roller skate. I'm sure there's a ton of different ways to use that. But anyway, the, there's a link to this over on my blog. Okay. Um, so let me show you, look how much I've used it. And this isn't even all that I've done because I've given some of them away. Here is a pillow box and it's a little bit squished. They've been all thrown in a box, but here's what the pillow box looks like. And then I made an extended pillow box in one of my recent, um, all-star, um, tutorial bundles. And it's an extended box in that, in that one, you can see how to do that. Here's a project we made at our retreat. Here's one that is not Christmas. See, I did some Halloween ones. Perfect, right? Just change the colors. And then I've made lots of lots of stockings. This is my stamp club project this month. And you can see back here how that pillow box half goes in and then you could put a gift card or candy or whatever in there. So there's that. And then here are just some other ones. We did this um, on my online workshop, I think, at the beginning of September. All right, okay, so there's lots of examples of, of other ways to, to do the, the designs that we're gonna do today. All right, so the first one, we're just gonna make a basic 
um, pillow box. And that's what this is called because it's kind of rounded like a pillow. Um, and I think a pillow box is good for any time. But specifically, this size is perfect for a gift card. All right, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I really like to give gift cards <laughs> and my kids really like to give get gift cards. So that's just our go-to. It's not because we're lazy, it's because we like to go shopping. So anyway, here's a gift card holder. Okay, so let's see. What we're gonna do first is make some room and I need a drink, just a second. And I can hear my dogs in there harassing the rabbit. She came in. She, she uses a doggy door. I don't know if I've told you guys that or not. But she uses the doggy door. She comes in and out. She'll stay out in the yard for days and days and days. But we've had three very rainy days. And so she came in and she has stayed in. Um, and they are harassing her. So I can hear them in there barking and chasing her. But she, I guess she'll, she'll find a place to get away from them, hopefully, before they make too much noise. Okay, so we're going to cut out the actual pillow box. So that's this die right here. This tab right here is when you're going to use it with a stocking. You would fold it in and it would go in on the inside. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just make a regular pillow box. So our paper doesn't even need to um, be long enough for that because we're gonna have to cut it off anyway. All right, so I'm gonna cut two at one time. Expensive chocolates are your gift for people this year. You know what? That sounds really good. Expensive chocolates, fancy chocolates, yes. All right, so I'm gonna go through twice just to make sure it cuts through because I have two on there. Yep, it did. All right, so let's move this out of the way. And like I said, we're just gonna cut that off. You only need that when you're using this to make the, the stocking pillow box. All right, now we're gonna cut off. You can see it has some side tabs right here. So we're gonna cut those off on one of them, just on one of them. And then we're gonna put some polka dots on it. There's a little tiny stamp in here that is, I guess, holly, because um, it kind of has a little shine mark. It looks like bubbles, it's really cute. And I'm just going to stamp it all over. Now, like I've been doing in the previous Facebook Fridays this fall, if you place an order using that hostess code um, by Monday night, I'll send you all three make and takes for free in the mail. I um, hope that those of you who have been receiving those are enjoying them, and hopefully they're getting there in a timely manner. I know shipping and the mail is a kind of a mess right now because of the holidays. I know our poor mail lady, who I just adore, is just, she's working herself to death. Okay, so now on this other one, we're going to fold those tabs in. Now this is what I always forget. This little notch right here is to help you open it. And so you wanna have one at the top and one at the bottom. And it doesn't matter which one, but I always <laughs> end up putting them together like that, which is fine, it's just not the right way that it's designed. Okay, so I'm gonna use tear and tape because this is skinny um, and it is, um, Fast Fuse is too fat for this. So I'm going to put my tear and tape right along here. Fast Fuse is my favorite adhesive. And I, tear and tape is great too. It is very strong. So on your 3D projects, you want to either use tear and tape or Fast Fuse. Don't use snail. Now if I can get that off. All right, so let's make sure my notches are at opposite corners. I've got random pink paper. Okay. Now, I'm going to line up the very top of the curve with the very top of that curve. And down at the bottom, the same thing, like that. Okay, so you see how I did that? And now we're going to do it on the other side. I almost wrote myself a note about the notches to, to make sure I didn't screw it up. It seems like every time I demonstrate this, I screw it up. And I put the notches together. And it really doesn't matter. I just wanna make sure that you guys know what it's for because what happens is you fold the one with the notch in. Let's get that creased like that. 
and then you fold this one in. So when they open it like that, they can stick their finger in there in that notch and pull that out. Does that make sense? It's clever, isn't it? All right, now I probably should have burnished these lines. Let's see if I can get them. All right, pretty good. All right, let me open my, I've got you guys on the iPad. I'm trying to make sure I can see for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. I just cannot see all the comments popping up. I only see them every now and then. Okay, so now we're going to take that jute twine that I love, that rustic jute twine, and tie a bow. That's how we're going to keep it closed. You put your gift card in there and your little note, whatever you want it to say. Merry Christmas, happy birthday, whatever. And we're going to tie it. All right, I'm going to keep those little legs kind of long because I like that, the way that looks. All right, so now let's make the cute little tag. Okay, behave, twine. There. Um, we're gonna do, let's see if we can get all this squeezed in on here. So these are the stamps that I'm using from the sa that same set. And the tag, this little red and white stripe is the tag with a matching framelit and then a cute little button and do I have to squeeze in the the snowflake too I don't know if I left myself in room, but we'll try mm, I did not oh look at that there's something weird on there all right let me clean that do you see how can you guys see that whenever there's just a little fiber or something on your on your stamp it leaves that weird mark there we go and now it's on the table all right, so we've got the tag, the button, two holly leaves, and we're gonna need to do a snowflake. So I have an extra paper here. So let's see if we can get them to all behave on the magnetic platform together. Hmm, I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit, aren't I? All right, so the tag goes here. And the snowflake will go over here. And then we're gonna use the little cute little button. Uh-oh, he's gonna jump around. When you have tiny framelits, sometimes they do not stay in place because the magnet's pull are, is so strong. <laughs> I don't know what my dogs are doing. They seem to hear my voice and I think they come down. They're usually up on my daughter's bed sleeping. That one's gonna go on the big one right there. See how the stamp is bigger than the framelit? That's going to leave no, so that you don't have any white space around. Or maybe it just is a match, but I don't know. I'm using it. It works for me. Because you could just cut them out of garden green paper. Okay, let's see if I can get them on here. <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, just pretend like it's staying exactly where I want it to stay the first time. I'm sure you guys wrestle with these on your own big shots too. But I love the magnetic platform enough to do it. All right, here we go. All right, one cute red and white striped tag. One cute tiny little button. One small holly leaf one a little bit larger holly leaf i'm gonna put all of my little framelits on my i have my cute little framelit stand from my friend and one snowflake now the question is i got my paper piercer out but i don't think i put it on the right tray so we're just gonna oh good there it came out easily Okay, so let's stack all of these together. Let's see how I did it. I think that mini dimensionals will be perfect for this. And you notice I didn't put a sentiment on it because I just like the way it looked without a sentiment. I think it's okay to not have a sentiment every time. I don't know, what do you guys think? You could always change it up a little bit and add one or put it on the inside, a little piece of um, white cardstock that is attached to your gift card that says what you want to say. There we go. 
And we're going to put this with a regular dimensional right here in the middle of that cute snowflake. The snowflake framelit in this set is my favorite. Whoops. It is like the perfect snowflake. It's not too small, it's not too big, and it's not too dainty. It's easy to cut. All right, some Whisper White Twine Bow. I really wish I could see all your comments. I need to figure that out why I can't see them. I see one at a time. I should be able to see more because when I'm watching other videos, I can see more. All right, let's use a glue dot. And it's gonna go right there. All right, last but not least is a gold library clip, which I realize I am using these all the time. I love them. We used to have the Close, the little clothespin, which I love too. So I think these have taken the place of that. So see, I'm putting a, a dimensional just right there on the library clip. And you almost can't even see it, but it holds it on there nicely. And there you have it, a gift card holder. All right, or a chocolate holder, whichever you want, whichever you're gonna give. All right, project number one done. Thank you, cute tag, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, let's see next. Now this one, I decided not to do the traditional stocking with the pillow box on the back. I decided to do a box. And inside the box, I know you guys always wanna know, these are those same things from last week that I have got to get out of here. I can't even believe I have any left because I can't stop eating them and they're so, so good. But anyway, you can just kind of, that kind of gives you an idea. You could put Hershey Kisses. I was at Target yesterday looking at um, Christmas candy and there's a lot of really good Christmas candy out there that I need to stay far, far away from. Okay, so let's do the stocking first. Um, let's see, let me make sure I have everything I need. Okay, we're gonna cut two of the stockings which is this big one right here. And we're gonna do, let's see, we'll do that, but we're also gonna do, we need to do some stamping first. You can see here, I put the celebrate the season sentiment right there on the top of that stocking. So let's make sure I have it. Now this stamp, sometimes it seems like the rubber is the edge of the rubber is raised a little bit, so I have to remember to wipe off the edge. That's what I'm doing. See how right there? I noticed the last time I used it that I was not getting a clean stamp. I was getting that, they call it a halo. Usually it's from rocking, but I know it wasn't that because I made sure I wasn't doing that. I think just the edge of the rubber needs to be trimmed a little bit. Okay, let's see which framelits we're gonna use. So we have that. That's going to go there, and we're going to do the little green part right there, and the sleigh bell, which looks like I have some little doodads stuck in there. Sleigh bell in silver foil, which is, yes, in our catalog, and then here is the toe and the heel. And one more thing, goodness, this one has a lot, but you know what? I don't think I have this framelit. Hmm, I'm missing the big round framelit. All right, well, we'll do it anyway, and we'll see. I actually have two sets of these framelits, so it's probably with the other set. I use them when I have events and classes, and like for this, for Facebook Friday, and I have to cut a lot of things. I purchased two sets of the framelits to cut down on time for me because I'm the one that does most of those, and so I have to you know, try to find ways to make it easier. Okay, so the stocking, we're gonna do two, and we're only going to do that one by itself because nothing else is gonna fit on here. Little Debbie Amory, I know, and you know what? I actually bought another thing of Little Debbie's yesterday. They're really cute, and I was trying to not do it because I really don't need to do any more treats. I've, I've got a lot of treats, but it was so cute. So maybe next week. I don't know. Next week I was thinking we'll do tags because it's we're getting down to the wire next week, right? We're getting down to the wire. And we're probably not going to have time for much more. Um, so I'm just, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm um, missing that framelit. 
So we're just going to, I'm going to reach back behind me and grab a circle punch instead of trying to find it right now because we're live and that's how it goes. Okay, so how do we look? Do we look all right? Do we have everything? Is that centered? Okay, I love it when it all can go at one time. And let's see. We're going to need one of those stockings. All right, there's that. And the silver bell, which, oh, I don't know. I have so many favorites in this framelit set. The silver bell's beautiful. And so is the stitched heart and the stitched star. Oh, those are so cute. I've used those quite a bit too. And this, what do you call this? Garland? I don't know what to call this, you guys. What would you call it? Tell me. A little piece of garland. I don't know. Okay tags sound good okay yeah I think so too and I've got some really beautiful tags that I'd like to show you guys all right so we're gonna put this guy up here and then you can use your liquid adhesive on this but if you're messy with adhesive like me you want to just get some glue dots little mini glue dots and put it right along the edge oh it's so cute and then we have the bigger one is for the toe. I like these. I think it's because it's got the stitching. I love the little stitching on framelits. Garland trim, Laura, you think? Yeah, I think. We'll just call it that. I don't know. It's tiny, but we'll go with garland trim. Okay, let me look at my sample again. Okay, okay, we've got that. And we're going to put the silver bell. And then I've got to find a circle punch for my button. But they're right here. Let's see. I think that's probably going to be a half inch. The problem with all these tiny little framelits, oh, the problem for me, is I lose them. But I have a feeling I know where that one is. All right. Let's do use, um, oh, you know what? We're going to do a bow, a double bow. And let's talk about that because I get lots of questions about a double bow. A double bow is when you take two pieces of string and pretend like they're just one. All right, so you're just going to double it and then just pretend like it's one. Treat it as if you were just tying one bow with one piece of baker's twine. And that's it. Right? That's really easy. It's, it's not anything fancy, but I get a ton of questions about that. Just like that. All right, now another glue dot. I love lots of detail too, Janie, I know. I have a hard time sometimes staying simple. I just wanna keep adding and adding and adding. Okay, there it is, cute, cute, cute. All right, so now if you just wanted to make this a gift card holder, you would cut off one of these. You would fold that bottom tab down here and fold it up and adhere it just exactly the same. But we want to give away a lot of chocolate, so we're going to make a box. Close that ink. So, now remember, these measurements are over on my blog. Hopefully they posted right when I was live. I had it scheduled. And so these measurements are there. And let's see, I'm gonna tell you that you need two pieces of cardstock. The, lar the larger one is six and a half by five, and we're gonna score it at one and a half inches on all four sides. And the other one is five inches by three and a half inches, scored at three quarters. Now don't write it down, just go over to my blog, and you're going to just print it off or save it. All right, so one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. That's all I did on all four sides. And in this one, three fourths on all four sides. This is a very basic box. Now, sometimes when we do a box like this, I tell you to put a shim over on the left side um, and you can definitely do that to give yourself a little bit of, so that the top is a little bit bigger. You would put just a couple of, of um, post-it notes there, but this box is so tiny and the lid is small that I, I thought that I didn't, that we didn't necessarily need that. All right, so I'm gonna cut in 
like this. Oh, I like to see all those little likes float across the screen. That's cute, I never noticed those. Um, and then we're gonna cut at an angle. So I cut in and then I cut from this side over. That makes sense. Do it the same way over here. Oh, now you guys are really, oh, now you're really showing off with all the likes and loves. Thank you. I wish my, my kids had a like button and they could actually, I mean, maybe they would actually show me some gratitude every now and then, right? Last night, I don't know if you guys know, I live in South Texas and we had snow for the first time in basically 32 years. So my kids have never seen snow. It snowed two inches about two inches and they basically lost their minds I mean even my husband we all were just like crazy so they were piecing together I hope you guys see what I'm doing I'm putting these behind the side so they were piecing together their cold weather gear you know like random scarves and like layers of jeans and weird stuff um, and then I realized why everybody in the north hates snow it's cold and wet and there was water all over my house so i just followed them around picking up their mittens and socks and you know and all they were doing is griping about you know how cold they were no gratitude for moms isn't that always how it is all right so that's the top here's the bottom we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to cut these tabs at an angle it was fun though. The snow was a lot of fun. It's gone now. I'm looking outside. It's totally sunny and it's drippy, drippy, drippy all over the place. But I know that their teachers took them out today to recess to play in the snow. So luckily school wasn't canceled because I was really sweating it last night. Oh, I thought, oh, because here in Texas, we don't, we don't drive when there's ice, but luckily there was no ice. And school was not canceled. They were not happy, but Mama was happy. All right. So you can see we're going to just put this together the exact same way. And I'm using Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse works perfectly fine on your boxes. All right. So here is our basic box. Ta-da. Simple. Just a rude, crudimentary box, right? Just basic. And we're going to put these stockings one on the top and one on the bottom it's like a little sandwich with a box being in the middle all right so I'm gonna lay that we don't want it to show so I'm just gonna lay that right on top all right and then this one same deal whoops and I'm gonna kind of try to get it so that it's exactly the same. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to line up exactly, but we want it to look like it did. All right, and then there's your box. You put anything in there. Those fancy chocolates that Mindy was talking about. Money, that's all my daughter, my oldest daughter wants money. Cute, right? So cute, I love that project, so fun. And I like the way the the crumb cake and the white look together. I think that's a really uh, classy look. Okay, project number two. Remember, put in your order by Monday night and this will be one of the projects that I send you. All right, we have one more. And this time, this is very, this one's gonna be very different. Mm. Very thirsty today. This one is very different from those two. Oh, I'm gonna need my simply scored. By the end of this, I swear I have stuff everywhere. All right, so this box looks like this. Again, no sentiment. I didn't use a sentiment. And it slides off. That's called a belly band. And inside is one of these Hershey, uh-oh, the male lady's here. Uh-oh, you guys, it's about to get crazy in here. Um, the <laughs> Hershey's Santas, and they look like this. I'm gonna say super cute. Um, Target, I think, $3.99 maybe for six. All right, so let's see. If my dogs are outside, hopefully we will not have a disaster. All right, the measurements are on the project sheet. And where can you find the project sheet, you guys? Ooh, someone was calling me. Don't, don't they know? Oh, I told you guys it's about to get crazy. 
Let's see if, they, oh, I think he might go outside and bark instead of at the front door. Tell your dogs I'm sorry if they're barking. All right, so we're gonna start out with, here I have this piece of paper, just for my, for my memory, but remember all of this is over on that sheet. So you're gonna start out with a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is 10 by four. All right, 10 inches by four, and we're gonna score the short side at half an inch. Oh, my male, male lady's so nice. Um, she's bringing me a ton of stuff. And one inch, and three inches, and three and a half inches, okay? And then the long side, we're gonna score, nope, that was wrong. Yeah, no, that was right. <laughs> I'm thrown off, sorry. Focus, focus, focus. I'm thrown off, she brought a bunch of packages. Long side is three, is that right? Three, three and a half, seven and a half, and I thought I got all of those out of the way, but no, an eight. Okay, if you're as distracted as I am, you guys, here it is. Go print it off on that project sheet on my blog. All right, I'm focusing, I'm focusing. Now you can see we've got lots of segments. All we want, we only need to keep these two outer ones here in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna cut all of these out. I'm so happy that my dogs are outside barking and not in here. I think maybe they might be learning. They might be learning that they don't need to bark. When mama's in here talking to herself, that's what they think probably. All right, see how I'm just cutting those all the way off. And I have tried really hard not to eat these chocolates too. This is a horrible time for me when I have all this candy in my office because I'm in here all day and all this candy. All right, bye Sharon, thank you. Okay, so folding everything in. All right, now we're gonna put adhesive on one place only, and that's gonna be on this side, on the opposite side of this piece, okay? So, the first time I made this box, I put adhesive all the way up here, and obviously, that did not work out because we need that piece to open up. It's kind of like a match box. All right, so we're gonna line that side up and line that side up. And that's it. That's it for that box. Really easy. Oh, am I frozen? Are you guys seeing me? Are you still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think you are. I got frozen. Uh-oh. All right, so slide them in just like that. Now, this is some of the Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper. And a belly band slides off. So we're not going to adhere it to the box. We're just going to wrap it around and adhere it to itself. And don't do it too, too tight, because then it'll be hard to get off. You just want it tight enough to stay on, like that, okay? Let's see, see how that slides? Easy peasy, and it'll keep it closed. All right, now I've already done these die cuts for us, because I knew we'd be getting down to the end. No, I'm not frozen. Okay, good, thank you, Anita, I appreciate it. All right, crumb cake. I'm gonna stamp once and then stamp again. So I have some dark and some light. Stamp once and then stamp again, okay? And we've got that beautiful snowflake again in silver foil. Let's see, we need a small, a mini dimensional, a baby, I call them the baby dimensionals, just like that. And then some of the quilted Christmas ribbon which I just think I have neglected this holiday catalog. It's really thick and I like it. It feels good. It's like a really nice heavyweight ribbon. All right, just a bow. Cut that at an angle and we'll get a glue dot. And that is all we're gonna do for that tag. Because I feel like if you're gonna give these away, you're probably gonna give a bunch of them away. So let's kind of keep that simple. Let's not get too crazy. And there we go. That's it. Isn't that funny how same set, but not a pillow box and not a stocking. All right, you guys, so there, there is my, my three projects for the week. I hope that you like them. Let's pull them all back in. 
I think my favorite is the box. It's a lot more work, but it's cute. And it feels like a significant gift if you were to give that somebody, but really just a couple pieces of candy in there. Okay, so put your order in by Monday night and you'll get all three make and takes for free in the mail next week. And um, don't forget about my classes. Um, the deadline for both the mini album or the cards and bingo is next Friday. So make sure that if you're going to sign up for either of those, bingo, online bingo is at the very end of the month and it's almost full. So um, you can sign up there um, and details also there. So don't forget um, because I'm going to try to take two full weeks off with my kids and I won't be making any extras of anything during those two weeks. All right, you guys, have a wonderful week. Let me know if you have questions. Hop over to my blog to enter for those three giveaways and download that project sheet. And have a great weekend, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.